<clears throat> All right, gang, how are we doing? Welcome back to the big board. I'm going to uh, give this a little run. It's been a long time since I've played this particular battle and uh, quite a while since I've put Great Battles of History on the table. And as you can see here, we're using the latest edition, uh, Deluxe Fifth, and we're gonna be playing Isis. And I thought this was interesting. And what, what was the catalyst? It was kind of a funky catalyst here as well for me to uh, put this on the table. <clears throat> I'd been, I'm on an email list that uh, sends me links to documentation and articles and uh, stories, or uh, actually not really stories, but more uh, articles and people's theses and uh, excerpts from books and so this turned up in my mail the other day and it's uh, just chapter five and I was talking about the Battle of Isis and Kathleen Tui's writing here is really interesting. She goes into a lot of detail about the, uh, the approach to this particular battle and what went on and why uh, the circumstances arose that this happened. And it's pretty interesting background, and I think it might be worth just recapping just at a very high level. Uh, so Alexander had received a, a scouting report that uh, Darius was actually uh, behind him and potentially cutting off his line of supply. And so he uh, did a counter march uh, pretty aggressively. And uh, as they came to a pass, they had to moved through the pass, so they pushed cavalry through first and then the infantry and there was a lot of complication with uh, the infantry movement and that sort of dictated the, the, the way these guys approached the, the battlefield. Meanwhile, Darius had pushed according to the, uh, the various sources, of which there were three that uh, she references, um, Darius pushed 30,000 cavalry and 20,000 light infantry or peltists uh, across the river, across this, uh, the Panaris River here. And uh, you can, um, and so then they were screening his deployment into defensive positions uh, along, along the river. And certain sections were very steep and some were sheer. And this allowed Darius also he thought to have a fairly robust and we're going to fix some of these things here uh, a fairly robust uh, setup uh, and defensive position for for him to uh, take on Alexander and Alexander's forces so <clears throat> with that in mind I kind of got got the juices flowing here but it, it also I wanted to set this up just to see if her analysis of the various writers and their commentary about where the different forces were matched up with Berg's writing uh, and, and analysis. You know, he and Herman, uh, you know, put all these battles together themselves and took it from primary sources. Her assessment, though, is interesting because it talks about the Campanian cavalry, which is this force here. Uh, Campanian cavalry crossing uh, this rocky shoal or this lower level of uh, the river here and forcing their way across and fighting like cavalry. And uh, that's also referenced, you can actually read it in Arian, I think it is. Uh, and then they took quite a, a bit of uh, fire from archers on their flanks. Well, that cavalry in the primary setup is not here. It's actually over here, and it's the medic uh, cavalry, and these guys, I can't pronounce their name, uh, Hirensia, uh, something like that, Hirensian cavalry. So all of these units potentially, or maybe some of them, and that's what I don't know, uh, some of them, or all of them, were over here. And that's the cavalry that when Alexander the Great crossed the river here, had a pretty stiff fight. Some of, some of these uh, peltists and some of the, the, this infantry cleared out the, the archers and then that allowed the 
the uh, Alexander's heavy cab basically to then roll up the Cardesis, uh, which were weak, sort of a levy style unit, uh, basically a peltist with uh, a, a wicker shield and a, uh, you know, a, a linen cuirass. Uh, so he rolled up all of these forces and that's when uh, Darius then, you know, flees the field even though in the center and left flank here where Parmenian is uh, this cavalry crossed in the early stages of the battle and uh, these these guys got amongst it here and uh, the the Macedonians actually took pretty heavy losses here and were having a hard time fighting the Greeks uh, crossing crossing the Panaros River here so interesting times uh, obviously there were these uh, I think this is supposed to represent the 20,000 levies or white troops that that didn't make it back and so therefore were ordered to sort of stand here and be a threat to the flank which they never really did very much in the battle in particular and uh, Alexander left a screening force. Now, Alexander also took all the Thessalian cavalry that was over on the right flank and moved it over to the left flank uh, because as he uh, on his approach he was a little confused about what was going on uh, but then once he saw the cavalry retreat back across the river and back across the river over here, that allowed him to then uh, make an adjustment and see what the defensive situation was for, for Darius. And that allowed him to then, he switched, he moved a significant uh, amount of cavalry over to here to reinforce this flank uh, to counter the, the Bactrian heavies that are over here. Anyway, so I thought I'd share that just briefly and what I'm probably going to do now that I've reconciled what is steep, sorry, what is steep and what is sheer in terms of terrain over here, I'm going to take some of this, some of these units, but potentially all of them, and we're going to transfer them over here and move those arches off uh, one or two hexes on either side, and then we'll uh, we'll kind of go for it from there and see and see what happens. I think we'll. We'll sort of run with uh, Kathleen's version of the history. I'm, I'm going to see if I can find this book and pick it up. I have not seen it before. If anyone's read it, let me know, and maybe you can uh, offer me some insight or commentary on the value of the book. Uh, and we'll take anyway. We'll take it from there, and I will look forward to uh, catching up with you guys on the next vid. Talk to you soon.